So in this video, we're going to look at using summation formulas in the case where we have a cubic example, or in other words, where the highest degree indexed variable is cubed. And I can see that from here, I could have i times i squared, so i cubed. So that's why it's a cubic example. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite my summation. This is a sum from i equal 1 to 6 of i times 8i squared plus 1. And then what I want to recognize is that the i can be distributed into the parentheses, which would give me the sum from i equal 1 to 6 of parentheses 8i cubed plus i times 1 is just i. And then I want to recognize that I can use this summation formula where if, it, where if I have the summation of a sum or difference of two index terms, I can break them apart into, into individual summations. So I'm going to rewrite this as the sum from i equal 1 to 6 of 8 times i cubed plus the sum from i equal 1 to 6 of i. And then I want to look at this and recognize I have a constant times an index term. So if I have a constant times an index term, the constant can be factored out in front of the summation. So I'm going to factor the 8 out in front of the summation. So I get 8 times the sum from i equal 1 to 6 of i cubed plus the sum from i equal 1 to 6 of i. And now I can start to use my summation formulas. I notice that I have 6 as my um, upper, upper bound of summation. So in this case, n is equal to 6. So I have a formula for the sum of the i cubed terms right here. The sum of the i cubes when n is equal to 6 is going to be 6 squared. So it's gonna, I'm going to go equals. It's going to be my constant 8 times my 6 squared times... 6 plus 1 is 7 from right here, 7 squared. And then it's all going to be over 4. And then I'm going to get plus. And I have a formula for the sum of the i. The sum of the i is right here. And when n equals 6, I'm going to get 6 times. 6 plus 1 is 7. And it's going to be all over 2. And it looks like I can do some simplifying. I'll get 4 going into 2 twice. So this is going to be 2 times 6 squared is 36 times 7 squared is 49. Plus 2 goes into 6 3 times and 3 times 7 is a 21. And multiplying this out, we're going to get a 98. 2 times 49 times 36 plus a 21. It's going to be 35. Don't want that to advance a slide like that. It's going to be 35, 28 plus a 21, which is just going to be 3, 5, 4, 9 for, the, for our indicated sum.